Residents in the Plata Arroyo neighborhood of East San Jose love where they live, but they worry about their safety. We've had shootings, we've had murders, we've had uh, uh, auto theft, we had tons of crime. So the, the quality of life issue that we need in the East Valley, that's what this, helping us, this is helping us with. This is one of the 500 flock safety automated license plate readers being installed throughout San Jose. It aims to make this neighborhood safer, just like other cameras have done across the city. Our ALPR network has helped our officers catch suspects with ghost guns, drugs, stolen packages, outstanding warrants for rape and domestic violence, and even a group of teens responsible for 60 vehicle break-ins. The cameras take a picture of the back of a car to identify the make, model, color, and license plate characters. When a crime occurs, police use the cameras to search for these identifiers to solve the case. These cameras make a difference by helping to identify and apprehend suspects, curbing criminal activity, and providing crime victims with a feeling of closure and justice. The video is retained for 365 days. That's 10 times longer than most cities that use flock cameras. And privacy expert Mike Katzlakabe worries the longer a video is kept, the higher the risk. Not only of the information being compromised, but for the ability of someone who has access to that to abuse it. And the fact is, we do not have good mechanisms of oversight that would actually review the logs of who's accessed it and what for to determine whether or not there's abuse. SJPD Acting Chief Paul Joseph says the cameras are never used for immigration control or other non-investigatory causes that would impact privacy. He says they're used to solve crimes and make the community feel safe, like here in Plata Arroyo. We're not afraid to go up and down Allen Rock Avenue because our community has been fighting for these protections and slowly but surely, and financially, they've been coming. In East San Jose, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.